I think the first commitment an individual can do is to first um, do what I con consider an internal CAT scan. It's taking a look at who they are and conducting their own diversity assessment. And when we talk about diversity, often individuals define diversity as minority populations only. And in fact, diversity is really about the composition of dimensions that we represent, that we all represent. And so for us, it's important that all individuals, whether you're a minority or not, um, have a disability or not, that you're able to identify who you are. I think the second step is once you step into your own diversity story that you're able to communicate that story. I think it's very important if you're a leader within the organization to, to be able to talk about diversity from your own perspective and through your own lens. I think some other things that individuals can do is um, attend affinity group events. If your organization has affinity groups, um, either attend the events, attend meetings, support the events, and it's a beautiful opportunity to develop leadership capabilities. So you can always step into an affinity group in a leadership role. Um, some other things, I think it's important that individuals build um, their own cultural awareness. And so in our institution, we offer diversity education. I would say another important component for us at Yale is mentoring. And I think you can serve in either capacity. We're always looking for mentors, but there are many individuals around campus who want to be a mentee and want to be matched into a very formal program, which we represent at the university.